Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. So this is going to be a twin flame reading. It is 717 as I'm talking. Okay, 717 p.m. where I'm at. So those are twin flame numbers. You guys could be seeing those numbers. Okay, so let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with your journey. Okay, <clears throat> welcome back guys. Welcome to all my new subs. All right, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, so let's see. Um, what else do I feel like I need to say to y'all? <clears throat> So, uh, twins aren't abusive, all right? So, if you have somebody that's abusing you or just being a, a, a dick, okay, that's not a divine masculine, that's not a twin, okay? They have ways about them that need to be healed, but I feel like twins, they come from a pure-hearted place, right? The twins are just different. They're not normal, right? If you're a twin, then you know that you're not normal, <laughs> right? Like, quote-unquote, you're not normal. Something, I mean, something about you is very different. All right, um, that's the that's the best way I can describe it because twins, yeah, they do have a karmic side to them, a side that comes out, that shadow side, 111 on the timer that needs to be healed, but it's not like a karmic cycle where you're supposed to just be done with them. They teach you lessons and you're done. It's like, no, I don't, that's, that's not how, how I see them, okay? Um, I've been on my twin flame journey for like three years now. All right, and I've learned a lot, okay? I've learned a lot. And, you know, I feel like I'm pretty aware of what twins are, how, you know, how the relationship is, what goes on in the relationship, okay? And I'm here just to guide you guys and help you through the journey, okay? I'm not here for you to be like, well, fuck my twin, da 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 <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> if you're on a twin flame journey, it is hard, yes. But the whole purpose of it is to strip your ego, Okay, so you can come back to your true identity, your true authentic self, and that's the whole purpose um, for your twin as well. Once you guys do that, once you guys really heal those wounds, which are going to be hard to heal, then there's a union between you and your person. That's how it's supposed to be. So and if anybody else believes anything other than that, then I don't know what to say. <laughs> Maybe this is not the, the uh, video for you or the channel for you because I'm always an advocate for twins and I'm going to try to help you guys get through your ascension process because it's not hard I mean it's not easy you know so and I feel like I've ascended very very well to the point where I can help others and guide others that's why I'm here so give me a second guys let me get my water really quick because I just feel like I want to drink my water isn't that good <laughs> That I want to drink my water like that. I mean, I've pretty much been drinking it all day. So, so yeah, we're going to pull from the Twin Flame Angel numbers. Sorry, God. So, we're going to pull from here first. Let's see what angel numbers you could be seeing at this time. So, Spirit Guides, Angels, Ancestors for the Twin Flame Collective, okay? I feel called to say, too, that everybody's on different timelines in their Twin Flame journey, okay? So, we're... One twin flame journey has ascended to the point where they're about to start union. And there's another twin flame journey that could be just starting. <laughs> okay, so everybody's at di on different timelines. So please remember that. All right. So so let's see. What's going on here for the twins? We're going to see what batch of twins I'm channeling right now, though. All right, so let's see. What's going on here for the twins, Spirit? What's going on here for the twin flame collective? Can you give me some messages, spirits, some twin flame angel numbers? <clears throat> Make sure you guys go look up 717. All right. Nine eleven. Union is in the air, but are you ready? Take care of any unfinished business now. So this is what you don't see here coming, this union. I keep seeing that too. 911. So you guys could be seeing that. You guys could be anticipating a union or you could like feel it coming, okay? You could feel it's near because you're ascending. When you ascend, I feel like if you have a twin, you can kind of like feel your person too. If you, it doesn't matter how far you are from this person. You could feel them ascending as well. Every time you ascend or you pass a test, it's their turn to do something. I'm, I'm seeing like how it works, right? It's, <laughs> it's, it's fun once you start 444 on the timer. It's fun once you start... Um, really studying your journey I, I studied mine okay i studied it like all the time <laughs> so i just know but let's see what else for the twins 
23, 23. You guys could be seeing 123 too. 123. It says, tap into the energies of your twin flame connection as a source of creative channeling and expression. So for some of you, you could kind of like do things that I'm doing. You could be a twin flame specialist or you could really be an ascended master. I feel like you're an ascended master that's here on, you know, in earth form, like in human form here. You could be helping others or you could be being called to guide others here. That could be what you do. That's a creative project of yours you could have a channel like me or something like that but this twin flame journey is helping you to enlighten others here is what i'm getting with this in some way okay everybody has different ways but i know mine has helped me do things like this for other people so for some of you i guess just let me know in the comments what your journey has helped you do so far okay because that's the whole point of it <laughs> for you to find your purpose and you know go towards the light get rid of all this karmic energy what what else? So we have two, two, two. The necessary seeds have been planted on your journey. Remain patient as they begin to gestate. So yeah, you could be, yeah, excuse me, you guys could be, oh, excuse me, Jesus. You guys could be saying two, two, two. What else? Some of you guys could be very nostalgic at this time as well. You guys could be saying 660. You know, these numbers in this deck is really, really, you'll see these numbers when you level up because I just started seeing one, two, three. All right. I, I never used to see that number. Like people see zeros and all type of shit. I'm just like, I don't never see those. But when you level up on your journey, you start seeing different numbers at different stages. Facts. But six, six, zero, you do not have to compromise your own integrity to get what you want. Assert yourself accordingly. All right. What else? 105 your intuition is divinely guided so trust all that you are being shown at this time yep what else 945 step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level hmm step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level you know intimacy obviously y'all know that's not just sex right it's uh, showing love just hugs here and there compassion you know your senses are hearing smelling seeing feeling some of you guys could be telepathically communicating with your person or you're trying to or this is what they're doing with you one more spirit 4141 congratulations you've taken the proper steps on your healing journey which assures success yeah so some of y'all have really made it far 511 your twin flame is now beginning to connect the dots back to you yeah so that's at the bottom of the deck all right beautiful so let's see let's pull some of these spiritual journey oracles all right i love this deck i combine uh, volumes one and two together all right, I'm just going to put the, the decks down below in the description box so you guys can see what, where these decks are from. But um, let's see, Spirit, for the twins. Give me clear messages here. Let's see. What is going on in the journey for the twins, Spirit Guides, Angels? Give me clear messages. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Symptoms, bottom of the deck. Emotional, physical, or mental stimulus has caused a reaction. Note is positive or negative impacts. So some of you guys could be having, yeah, divine timing, twin soul. Intensifying, hmm. So some of you guys could be having the uh, symptoms. Yeah, heart chakra awakening, heart opening. Somebody's having a heart chakra awakening here. I don't know if it's you or your person. But there is a purging of, there's a releasing of uh, just a bunch of karmic buildup and old wounds, trauma, things like that coming up to be purged. All right, what, what else? What's going on here for the twin spirit? So we have spiritual places. Experience or re experience a retreat or other spiritual place with like-minded souls to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Okay, I'm gonna move these over. Or let me just stack these like this and put them. All right, then we have manifestation. 
Practice the law of attraction to attract what you want into your life. What we think is what we create in our physical reality through, through thought, meditation, and daily affirmations. So some of you guys could be doing that here. You could be meditating a lot more. Okay, you could be, I mean, if you're, if you're, um spiritual gifts here are increasing okay if you feel like an increase or you feel more like if you're clear audience you could be getting like you could be hearing things having visions or whatever the case may be those are messages but definitely to let you know that you do have that gift all right and that's one way you can um you can use those gifts in other ways to manifest certain things i mean because they give you messages so if you are if you are gifted you could be hearing things and seeing things about your journey or something like that right but i was getting ready to say too if you were meditating you could you could be going to like another spiritual place when you meditate like when you get really deep into your meditation you could be in like it's going to feel like another realm <laughs> okay but i feel like that's just how intense this connection is for you it's just like you don't even feel like you're here really <laughs> dealing with this these type of connections okay if you you know have a twin obviously hopefully you do if you're watching this but a lot of people they don't they don't realize that they don't have twins and a lot of people that comment on my channel are like well my twin quote unquote is abusive and he did it it's it's no it's just not your twin <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that's not they don't act like that twins act very different i want people to stop with that narrative you know like that is it's crazy to hear really like you'll know when you have a twin <laughs> you know but what else but what else soul awakening consciousness around your soul's identity is happening now you are joining others as a part of a massive global awakening yes like somebody is waking up to their true power their true spiritual gifts okay somebody here is ready to to, to like really meet their soul tribe and go down the right path here yeah, it's like somebody is now practicing the law of attraction. They know how to manifest. I'm hearing money. Okay, so money could have been a factor here with your twin flame and the connection. This person could have been low on funds when y'all met or something like that. And now this person is learning how to attract money. Maybe they were a bit greedy at first. Or they were dealing with greedy ass comics. What else? Heightened awareness. Yeah, didn't I just say that? You are intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right. Yeah, you feel it. Bottom of the deck, we have living consciously. Make decisions in life that are not by hap happenstance, but rather by conscious choice for the betterment of your life and for others. Yeah, then we have heart opening, healing the soul's DNA. Yeah. Pain, which has embedded itself into the soul's DNA, doesn't have to define our future. By facing our deepest hurts, we heal. Yeah, so... Somebody's whole shebang is shifting, is changing. All right. Yeah. So let's see. Let's pull some cards here. <clears throat> let's see. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. <laughs> Somebody can have an Aries, Venus, Libra, Moon with the Two of Swords I just saw. So let's see what is going on here. Let's clarify the spiritual places card experience a retreat or other some of you guys could be going to like yoga practices you could be going to like really really nice spas or what do you call them places where you can just kind of like some of you guys could be buddhist okay i i like the buddhist religion you know there's my buddha man here <laughs> because it represents spirituality if there was any religion that I'm, i was going to like follow it would be buddhism it just makes the most sense. It's very peaceful. <laughs> very peaceful. But anywho, let's see. Spiritual places here. Why are spiritual places here for the Twin Flame Collective? What does that mean? Somebody is really learning how to kind of like stay in Zen. You know, stay calm. Somebody is learning how to not let people around them take them out of their character while still maintaining a healthy headspace and maintaining healthy boundaries is what i'm hearing too okay yeah with these two people on this card i feel like you are a part of this person's spiritual space so when they think of you they think of good things and it, it helps them out a lot you know that's the whole point of the journey really 
thing you help your person they help you and even if y'all are in separation it all happens energetically because y'all can feel each other so if you send your person love they'll send you love back because that's really what's going on here if you and your person do love each other it's just a lot of this 3d shit in the way this distractions these comics these whatever the fuck else these you know overindulging in drugs alcohol certain things that just are taken away from the connection that need to be cleared out <clears throat> so let's see we, what spiritual places here spirit okay page of cups in reverse divinely guided divine timing So Page of Cups in Reverse could talk about, it could talk about emotional immaturity. It could talk about, I feel like somebody's scared to say something to you, though. They're scared. If somebody is scared to say something to you, the Page of Cups could talk about, though, I don't know who the fuck that is. Experience a retreat or other spiritual place with like-minded souls to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. The Page of Cups in Reverse could talk about jealousy, obsession, okay, envy. It could talk about, um, as well, an intuitive blockage. Let's see. What's the spiritual places with this page of cups in reverse? What is this? Seven of Wands. Yeah, somebody is blocking. Yeah, clean up. Didn't I just say somebody was battling karmics or... Yeah, clean up. Cutting karmic ties, doing the inner work. Yeah, so, so whatever this is here, this is somebody. This is either you or your person blocking out... Yeah, setting boundaries. Yeah, fighting for what they believe in, standing up for what they believe in. Somebody is blocking somebody out that's jealous, that's obsessed, that doesn't mean what the fuck they say. They just are very petty, whoever this page of cups is in reverse. All right. Because <clears throat> I feel like that's a person that's doing the most. Okay, well, yeah, somebody that's still asleep. Four of swords. Somebody that's just still asleep. They, they don't, they just, they're karmic. Yeah, Ten of Swords, yeah, Five of Cups. What's, um, so this person, you can have this person blocked here, this karmic, or your person does. Because somebody is trying to visit a spiritual place. They don't have time. This shit is not, this is not where they want to be, or this is not where you want to be here. What's the spiritual place, spiritual places? What? Yeah, five of swords. Yeah, there's some fuckery going on. There's conflict here. There's definitely some conflict. Somebody keeps trying to reach out to somebody or they have something to say or giving these fake ass apologies. And this is what somebody is seeing. They're blocking this out because somebody is seeing that someone here just plays mind games. Yeah, somebody is a fucking snake. With whoever this is with this sword behind their back. You can see this, this person's sword here. You can see their sword. And this person has to hide their sword. This woman, whoever the fuck this is standing here. With the sword behind their back. Yeah, this somebody here is just out to hurt somebody and stab somebody in the back. But steady coming up to them asking for forgiveness. Like, bitch, are you stupid? <laughs> these hoes, something wrong with them. These karmics, boy, I'm telling you, if you have a twin flame connection, these karmics that are either on your end or your person's, they do black magic. I just want to say that first. They do black, they pra practice that shit day in, day out. Them, their family members, everybody. If you have a twin flame connection, trust me, it's that strong to the point where motherfuckers are going to want to split y'all up. Nine times out of ten, you've been through this in a past life already. Okay, you've been through this in a past life where people have tried to split you and your person up. There's shit that people have to, your person has to handle or this is you that has to handle this shit. Yeah. I feel like, too, with this... um five of swords this person here that's sitting down on this chair they know that somebody here is playing mind games they already know what somebody's coming to them for they already know what somebody's getting ready to ask they ass so they had a sword out they letting them know like hey you know i'm not trying to fight you i'm not trying to hurt you but i'm gonna have to say what i need to say so we can you know go our separate ways because you're not finna play with me <laughs> you feel me like i feel like somebody is not playing somebody has their boundaries up and they're fighting back they're not gonna stand for the fuck shit yeah, the weird shit. They're not going to do it. Yeah, they're healing. Yeah, healing. Accepting to grow, self-care, and healthy choices. Yeah, not everybody got time for that shit. Whatever the karmics is doing, you know, it's time. Oh, what's this page of cups in reverse? Somebody's very insincere. Yeah, somebody here needs help. Somebody here needs help. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I feel like somebody is demanding their respect at this point. They're demanding their respect. Okay. 
they're demanding their respect they're demanding fairness and if they don't get it then they just i mean you ain't gonna get nothing from this person or whoever the karmic is is what i'm speaking on because their ass is popping up <laughs> okay i know what it feel like but yeah feel like somebody has no words for someone somebody's emotions are not here for someone else it's just it's just not the same all right and these karmics don't want to let go they don't understand that shit they, they don't understand it this person like yeah there could be children involved waiting two of swords what's this um five of swords right here so the six of pentacles is things bouncing out things becoming more fair but definitely a whole need help per usual and they always want to do some fuck shit okay yeah six of wands in reverse yeah five of swords they, somebody is losing at their own fucking game with the six of wands in reverse yeah because somebody here is trying to visit this spiritual place that's what somebody's mind is on right now yeah your emperor could be an aries yeah emperor six of cups page of wands yeah this is them walking away you're masculine or you're you could be a masculine energy here flip the switch it right you could be a masculine that's a woman all right and for some of you you could be a divine feminine that's a man right because a lot of divine feminines watch but you guys will be seeing six 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 two. But yeah, the six of wands. Yeah, somebody's with some treacherous shit. It could be multiple people here with the six of wands in reverse, because that's mobs of people. Okay, somebody here with the hella pride. Okay, somebody just wants attention too. They're loud, boisterous. They just want attention, whoever the fuck this is. <laughs> or these people are. This is somebody with ill intentions. And somebody knows that. Somebody knows that. And that's the crazy shit I'll be talking about in these unions. <laughs> this is why these these twin flame unions are hard because you got to get rid of nasty ass hoes like this that don't even deserve to be in your presence you know it's crazy but somebody here fail and they're mad about it so now they want to do get back it's like i'm going to get this to regardless what you say i'm going to i'm going to make it so that you can't you know do whatever the fuck it is somebody here feels like they own someone they're possessive very weird envious jealous greedy all of that so moving on what's manifestation here practice the law of attraction to attract what you want into your life what is that okay okay ace of wands in reverse so ace of wands in reverse could talk about feeling trapped stuck delayed okay so this could be giving this could be kind of like giving you guys advice too i mean if you feel stuck or delayed or trapped or like you haven't found your passion yet it's telling you to kind of like if you guys need to go 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 get that book off of amazon law of attraction book and or download it if you are better with like audio books because i know i am i can't sit and read like that i move around too much <laughs> i be needing the audio you know practice the law of attraction here okay so that way you can attract what it is that you want. Because you could be experiencing a lot of delays and things like that with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Okay, you feel like you don't have a passion here or you're losing passion for... This could just be you losing passion for a lot of things that really don't serve your highest good. Right? Things that you were passionate about, it could be falling away. And I feel like let it fall away because you're being guided to something bigger and better. Okay? Something else that you are... Yeah, that's in alignment with you. The Hierophant. That's in alignment with your, your spiritual side of yourself. Yeah, the hangman, ace of swords. So you, know, you could be dealing with the Taurus. All right. So I can have a Taurus moon. Let's see. What's this manifestation with the ace of wands in reverse? Ace of wands in reverse too. <clears throat> A lot of these cards, yeah, sexual encounters in reverse. Yeah, this lustful energy. Somebody is seeing too, they're realizing that intimacy is not sex. It's something else. Yeah, with the lovers, eight of pentacles, the death card, five of cups. Somebody here is losing interest. They're becoming bored of the sexual encounters with others or whoever the fuck this evil ass third party is or whatever. It's like somebody's bored with that life. Somebody is growing old and tired of this already. Yeah, sexual bond and lustful intent. Yeah, it's done. That part of somebody is over. Somebody has realized they can't manifest what they want because sex is, I mean, it's a way to to tie yourself to somebody. It's a way to bind your, yourself to someone. 
somebody was sucking the energy out of somebody. They're they're just stealing their light. Basically, energy harvesting through sex, really, is what I'm getting with this. What's the manifestation with the Ace of Wands in reverse and the sexual encounter in reverse? This is why y'all could be feeling these symptoms because there's a lot of purging. Yeah, the strength card in reverse, which is helping somebody become vulnerable. Yeah, the Empress. Yeah. Karmic partner, what's the tea? Gossip, asking about you. And then we have money focus. Yeah, this karmic is money focus. Yeah, then we have rejection. <laughs> and they get their asses getting rejected. Bye, bitch. Bye. The fuck? This is this this is a lame asshole here. <laughs> this karmic y'all. They they be pissing me off. I ain't gonna lie to you. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be a Leo, but the strength card in reverse talks about vulnerability. It could also talk about too, you know. Um, this this is opening somebody's heart space. Somebody's pride in their ego is being torn away, like it's supposed to. Somebody's having an ego death. Yeah, because now somebody is realizing that it ain't all about sex. It ain't all about you know lust and whatever the fuck. That's not how you're gonna manifest what you want. You come in towards your divine feminine or divine masculine, lustful and things like that. Somebody's the empress. <laughs> Somebody don't play that. Okay, period. You don't. So. You know, what's what's the Ace of Wands in reverse? Somebody could have also felt like they were not good enough too as well um, when it comes down to that. Like maybe that's all they had to offer at the at that time. You know what I'm saying? And now it's like that's being stripped away because it's like, no, you need to know who you truly are. And this is a part of the twin flame process, really knowing who you are, knowing your worth, okay? Knowing your value, knowing that you are worthy of a real connection, real love, Okay, knowing that you are, you know, you don't have to settle for this stuff, this stupid shit with these stupid ass hoes either. I mean, the more you put yourself down, the more you're going to attract these type of low life ass bitches. <laughs> Just period. What's this Ace of Wands in reverse? You know, and it's like, it's time off for that shit. Yeah, waiting. In, I mean, wishing in reverse. Replaying events, suffering in silence. I'm hearing something about manifesting backwards. I feel like whatever the fuck this is right here with these cars coming out in reverse like this. This is just giving me the energy of purging. I feel like somebody is realizing that if they don't move, okay, the Ace of Wands in reverse, if they don't move, they're not going to get this wish. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, in order to manifest, you're going to have to make moves. You can't just manifest and just not do anything. You have to put work in too to get your manifestation. Okay, but what's... What's um wishing in reverse with this ace of wands in reverse? What is this? Four of cups, yeah, stalemate, stagnancy, boredom. Yeah, somebody's bored. Somebody is bored of that, of whatever this is. Yeah, well, the fortune, yeah, whatever this is is changing. Yeah, it's just it's just giving bored, apathetic. Okay, somebody here is turning down a lot of offers too, sexual offers or something like that. It's they don't want it. <laughs> they just don't want it. Yeah. So what's the sexual encounter in reverse? Okay, yeah, the sun in reverse. Leo energy. So this is somebody, yeah, with an ego. Like I just said, the sun is Leo energy again. So strong Leo is here. So this is like somebody here with an ego. You know, a big ego thinking that their looks is going to get them what they want and attract certain things. Yeah, they see that all it's attracting is money hungry ass bitches. You flash your looks, you flash your money. That's what you're going to get. A bunch of money hungry ass hoes that will do anything for money. <laughs> Somebody's problem, like I said, is money. They're greedy. Or they were greedy or they just feel like they didn't have anything else to offer but that. Their penis or their vagina and a little bit of change here and there to get what they want. I mean, this is all about knowing your self-worth. Yeah, but the sun in reverse is... Um, Yeah, th this person is seeing how all of this shit is, this cycle is keeping their ass stuck. This coming in and out of your life, okay, coming in and, and they're seeing that it's just not working. So now somebody is like, it's like beating a dead horse. It's like you keep doing the same shit with the same results. If you don't change it up, you're going to keep getting the same bullshit ass results. And you're not going to, it's going to get worse because you're not going to like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but the sun in reverse, yeah, it talks about, um, 
uh what am i trying to say spirit damn it talks about um conceitedness somebody's cocky ass ways has made them miserable and and now they're bored of that somebody is like bored that's the part of their life that's leaving this um this sex and this high ass ego this conceitedness this cockiness this having these high expectations here this is like unrealistic expectations with the sun in reverse yeah now somebody's sad they're miserable for some of you this is this karmic right here that it feels like they can get whatever they want if if they just give sex or maybe give this person something or give you something what's the sun in reverse it's time yeah divine intervention no more running yeah it's time to deal with that shit whatever this is it's making somebody sad or depressed or miserable or whatever yeah invitation date time together yeah it's time to invest long term yeah yep magician clean up cutting ties yeah so yep Cupid's error has struck. Somebody's in love. This person is sad as fuck. They're miserable. They're sexually frustrated. They're bored. <laughs> they're bored. They don't, they don't like what's going on in their life. They don't, they're tired of missing these opportunities. So what's the strength card in reverse? Yeah. Dark night of the soul. Yeah, I told you they ass is learning. Oh, this is you. <laughs> One of y'all. 31, 31 on the timer emptiness and disconnection yeah somebody does not feel like themselves at all they don't they don't feel like themselves at all because their their old selves is being their old self is being stripped away they feel lonely they feel sad they feel, feel miserable your person okay or this is you both of you guys could be longing for each other though but this is that vulnerable side of this person coming out with the strength card in reverse i told you it's vulnerability this person is trying really hard to fight that shit but now it's like they can't hold back anymore they're bored they're bored or they're, they're tired. Somebody, yeah, somebody is scared that you're going to use their weaknesses against them because these karmic ass hoes have done that. That's why they keep running. What's the strength card in reverse with the dark night of the soul? This person lets fear guide them and that's the ego. And this kind of connection, you can't have your ego like that. You need to be purely stripped of that shit. Okay, yeah. So the five of pentacles. Somebody could have a um, Taurus Mercury. A lot of Taurus. So. <clears throat> somebody could have a Cancer Moon too. So I'm getting with the five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels abandoned or somebody's abandonment wounds are coming up here. Yeah, somebody does not want to be rejected. Four of cups and the five of pentacles here. I'm just getting rejection. This person, they're scared of being vulnerable because they feel like they're going to get rejected by you. They don't. <clears throat> I feel like every time whoever this is spoke up about their feelings or, you know, especially if these karmics are getting exposed for being low life losers and not really caring about your person like that or on your end, if that's how it happened. It's like this person, they're scared. They're scared of that same shit. They're scared of that same shit happening. Hmm. somebody here could be having money problems too or i just feel like this is a feeling though of being left out in the cold I, it could be money problems as well they feel like they're not good enough they feel like they don't have enough you know it's, it's all about somebody's insecurities right now this is somebody's insecurities <clears throat> really really um coming to the surface but I do feel like somebody's going through a hard time, though, because right now somebody is vulnerable. They're at their weakest. And this is around the time where these karmics are getting put the fuck out. They're getting kicked out of people's lives, just period. So somebody's going through a tough time right now. What's the soul awakening? Consciousness around your soul's identity is happening. Yeah, now you are joining others as a part of a massive global awakening. So the Knight of Swords in reverse. There's a lot of spiritual warfare here. I'm just going to say there's a lot of people trying to work against somebody or y'all's union. You and your person separately. Hmm. 
But the Knight of Swords talks about, yeah, the Knight of Swords alternatively, you know, besides somebody being a reckless loser, this could talk about <clears throat> somebody here being, um, somebody here feeling like they're out of your league. This is like feeling like you're out of, uh, they're out of your depth or you're out of their depth. Yeah. It's like they don't. Yeah. But alternative, let me see what this is before I start talking. What's the soul waking with the Knight of Swords in reverse? The moon. Okay, Cancer energy. Pisces too. Excuse me, what else for soul awakening? Somebody is being pushed. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. To take action, yeah. Yeah, and go towards their destiny, what's meant for them. But Eight of Pentacles, this talks about self-mastery. So if there's no action being taken or somebody here is just sitting still, it's because <clears throat> there's, a, there's somebody is trying to tap into their intuition here with the moon. I feel like somebody too, your person could be a bit of a coward. I'm just going to say it. They're acting like a coward because they're scared to confront you here. And they act like they know everything, this person. Yeah, there's a lot of things that this person has not told you. But I feel like in silence, they're working on something. Eight of Pentacles, this could be somebody building their finances. But definitely somebody putting in the work here to self-mastery. For self-mastery to really build themselves back up. You know? Somebody here doesn't want to be impulsive. What's this Knight of Swords in reverse? What's the Knight of Swords in reverse? Let's see. Long wait. Putting your life on hold. It's going to take a while. Huh. And then we have Page of Swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody's not saying anything. Page of Swords in reverse is not saying nothing. Not, doesn't know. Somebody does not know what to say. Okay, then we have Karmic Partner and what's the T? Then we have the Empress. So, so what I'm getting here... Okay, this karma, it says codependency, your dark side exposed. That's what I'm getting. It's this these karmics right now are really trying to work against whatever this is. I mean, they're doing it real bad now because right now is around a time where y'all really about to come back into union and it's gonna be for good this time. <laughs> it's not gonna be no in and out because your person they've awakened. They know what's going on. They know what's going on, they see it clear. This page of swords too could talk about a lot of gossip or envy, a lot of like giving you the evil eye. Somebody's giving you the evil eye or giving your person the evil eye. This is what's taking so long here because this person is dealing with somebody quite violent. Knight of swords in reverse, page of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody is is doing that because somebody's awakening. What's the, what's the page of swords in reverse with the knight of swords in reverse and the long way card? Yeah, frozen. I mean, cold as ice. Inconsiderate behavior, giving you mixed signals. Yeah, this is why. This person, somebody here around this person could be scatterbrained or it's like they are. This karmic is. Somebody has a problem. I'm just going to say how I feel it. There's fear here too with the moon. This person is scared to say something to you. <laughs> they're scared. They're not taking action because they're scared. It could be because their intuition has said something to them too, though. It's like things have to happen in divine timing. And I feel like this person now, they want to come back at the right time because they don't want to leave again. So it's like if, now I feel like it's gotten to the point where it's like, well, damn, am I really ready? I don't want to come in and then walk back out again. I feel like there needs to be an open line of communication. Yeah, there needs to be an open line of communication because... If other things are going on in you guys' lives, y'all just gonna have to talk about it. And this person can't do that shit no more. They have to be honest about what they're going through. So you can at least know, right? If they do have to go quiet for a minute, at least you'll know why. <laughs> you feel me? Like, that's what makes all the difference. What's the moon? What's the moon? The Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of shit going on behind the scenes here with somebody's family. Somebody could be quite abusive. I'm saying, I'm just getting abused. This page of swords in reverse. Somebody could be mentally, emotionally abusive. All right, Ten of Cups in reverse is a dysfunctional family, a breakup, definitely a divorce possibly. It could be a family secret here too is what I heard. A family secret. Yeah. 
But this is what's being hidden right here. What's this moon with this Ten of Cups in reverse? The King of Swords. Yeah, somebody could be going through a divorce here. This is why somebody's not moving. For some of you, your person was married. <clears throat> they was with this, this karmic. Yeah. I feel like with the King of Swords coming out, somebody here is hiding. You could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you could be one. Somebody here is hiding the fact that they know already. If the King of Swords already has clarity, this person is setting boundaries. <clears throat> this person is detaching from whatever this is. This unhappy bullshit with this family. They're, they're detaching from that. Or they're getting, yeah, with the judgment. Something could definitely be going on and with the law. Okay, that's that's what this is that's happening. So that's happening. So um this is this person making a head over hard decision. This is making a good judgment call. What's the eight of pentacles? Seven of pentacles, seven of cups came out sideways. What's this eight of pentacles with the seven of cups? Two of Wands. Healing. Okay. The star. Bottom of the deck. Aquarius. Somebody could be an Aries here. A Scorpio Venus. Aquarius Capricorn Cusp. Pisces Mars. So... There's a lot of confusion here. I feel like somebody has a lot of options, though. A lot of doors, yeah. A lot of doors and opportunities are opening up for someone to grow and expand, especially as far as their work goes. Somebody here could have just gotten a new job as well. And whoever this is back here is, is mad as fuck because they're going to be waiting a long fucking time. Yeah, somebody here is waiting for this person to come towards them or say something, and they've completely gone cold. They don't have nothing to say to somebody, or this is you. You know, I feel like with this third party, because they ass is here. Yeah, this person's going to be waiting forever because they ain't this person. They're not getting talked to ever the fuck again. <laughs> so somebody has completely removed their energy and detached. Now it looks like somebody's just working. All right. They could have a lot on their plate with the seven of cups or this could just be like uh, dreaming a lot or something going on with somebody's dream state. But whatever this is, whatever this is, is helping somebody heal because I, I see somebody's ships coming in here with the three of wands. This is like looking toward the future. This could be even relocating for some of you. I just feel like somebody has a lot on their plate. OK, I feel like somebody has a lot on their plate here. Three of wands is talking about expansion, growth, um, new opportunities here, ready for new opportunities. Yeah, somebody here could be ready to move as well. Somebody's moving, relocating or doing something. Some of you guys could live at a distance from this person. So what's, let's see, what's this heightened awareness? You are intuitively sensing something is shifting beneath the surface and you are right. Yeah, let's see what it is. What's um, Page of Wands? Yeah, it's this communication coming through. That's what. Yeah, Page of Wands also talks about a new creative idea, a project. So some of you guys could be getting... Um, downloads here to start a new business to you know these are new exciting plans here that you have but it could be from uh, a connect um, communication from this person what's heightened awareness with the page of wands yep ten of pentacles yeah building a legacy here building and building an empire okay yeah this is your ten of pentacles whatever this is that's being built is yours yeah the high priestess with the emperor the chariot yeah queen of pentacles Mm hmm. So with the Ten of Pentacles, this talks about a long term union, a long term relationship, a marriage, a solid foundation being built here. Definitely seeing wealth, prosperity, whatever this new passion is that you're finding or this new idea, you should definitely do it. If OK, like, I don't know what it has to do with. It could have to do with this person talking to you because this is a text, phone call, or email or something with good news. But this could also be inspiration to start something, to start a business. OK, that's that's like your level up. If you guys are thinking about starting a spiritual business or if you're thinking about doing anything that you're passionate about, I feel like you need to do it because it's going to help you ascend. OK, now is not the time to be scared. I get it. Doing something new is scary, but it's going to work out in your favor. All right. That's the only way you're going to ascend.
I'm telling you, you got to try new shit. You got to do what you got to do. And definitely go towards your passion. Because that's where you're being guided to. Your steps are being guided. So if you feel pushed to do something, then you need to do it. If it feels good, if it feels right, go ahead and do it. What is uh, Page of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles and the Heightened Awareness card? Should I take these, Spirit? Okay, I'm not then. What's what's the page of wands with the ten of pentacles and the heightened aware heightened awareness card? <clears throat> so we have forbidden in reverse. Differences, family and friends don't approve. Yeah, with this in reverse, somebody does not give a fuck. Somebody does not care. Somebody does not care what they feel like is forbidden or what they feel like is what it whatever. You know, somebody does not care with this in reverse. Yeah, this unawakened karmic partner, whoever the fuck this is, this hoe doesn't approve or this hoe, bitch, who cares about what you don't approve of? Bitch, you don't even approve of yourself. You're a loser. So, I mean, you don't even want to do the work. So, bye. But yeah, the devil, the death card, mirroring, unawakened, and karmic partner. Yeah, it's just messy. This bitch is doing all this shit. It's just crazy. Yeah, somebody has went completely cold on this hoe and they're rejecting him once again. <laughs> once again. What's this? page of wands right here this is page of wands right here spirit yeah rejection yeah male ego resisting connection let's see what's this rejection right here with this page of wands somebody here is scared of rejection they're scared so they're going to come in and test the waters with you their intentions are to build this ten of pentacles but they're going to they're going to come in and try to they're going to say something. I feel like, too, um, this is this person's family or something like that that's reaching out to them or you, and they're rejecting their ass. <laughs> they're giving them the finger, like, showing them the fuck away. What's this rejection card, Spirit? The High Priestess. Yeah, but so, this is this is this person's ego trying to creep in. This is this person's ego trying to creep in with the with the rejection card, but the high priestess talks about using your intuition, following your intuition. Look beyond what you see. It's just an illusion. I feel like somebody is seeing that. It's just an illusion. Nothing is forbidden. Okay, this this is connection is not forbidden. That's just what this person has been told or been made to feel like. You know that they can't do this or they can't do that. No, ain't nobody in control of you but you. <laughs> if a bitch want to get out of line, they can kindly go to jail. Quick, I call the police on hoes. Ain't nobody. Getting out of character for you bitches. <laughs> Y'all not even worth that. You feel me? Like, I feel like somebody here is lame as fuck. You know? Somebody has to feel like they, they deserve this. That's what this is. This person's egos. They have to feel like they deserve this. But I feel like there's a longing for you here with the high priestess. The high priestess is somebody that's very, like, desirable. This person wants you here. They they want you. I feel like they're really battling too. This lifestyle of where they was living and doing whatever the fuck they wanted to do and being free and running around, that's shedding. <laughs> because they know they have a bigger purpose here and they need to fulfill it. Yeah, unless they want to do this shit again the next lifetime. <laughs> you know, you got choices. You, you got options. I wouldn't want to, but what's the Ten of Pentacles? Yeah, Two of Cups, love. Love here. Somebody in love. Somebody can have a Cancer Venus. Okay, yeah. Somebody's in love here with this Ten of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Somebody is definitely in love with your ass. They are so in love with you. They don't give a fuck about the Five of Wands, assholes, the competition, the back and forth bickering. Somebody is laser focused on what the fuck they want. And they're rejecting a lot of motherfuckers. What's this forbidden in reverse? Yeah. Nine of Cups. Yeah, because somebody sees that you're their wish fulfillment, you're their happiness. Okay, you, you, you're you a part of their happiness anyway. Yeah, so there's a manifestation coming through, a wish being fulfilled here with the Nine of Cups. Yep, Page of Pentacles. There's good news. Yeah, Page of Pentacles, Four of Wands. <laughs> somebody can have an Aries Venus. Yeah. Yeah, so something is, this person is realizing, or this is you realizing, ain't nothing off limits. Ain't nothing off fucking limits. I don't know who the fuck these bitches think they are to be telling somebody who they can date and who they can't date. Bitch, y'all don't have shit going on. Mind your fucking business. <laughs> Mind your business, bitch. Yeah, so that's what's happening here, guys. That's what's happening here. 
in your union with, you know, you and your person. You know, so it looks good to me. <laughs> it looks good to me. The work is being done, honey. The work is being done because somebody's eyes is open. And that's all it takes. Once you awaken, because I know at first when I, you know, when when I first realized that I had a twin and what was going on and all the magic that was going on, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to warn you. There's magic going. I feel like he didn't take that shit serious <laughs> until he started seeing these hoes acting ass. Yeah, but he had to awaken first. So it's like, I mean, you can't tell somebody that magic is being put on them if they're unawakened. It's like, what? <laughs> what is that? Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, confusion spells, chaos magic, sex magic, love spells, all type of shit. All type of shit, you know? So, you know, it's like, yeah, I told your ass. I told you. <laughs> I said that it was going on, but it's okay if you didn't listen. Like, I'm not a I told you so type of motherfucker. But, I mean, at least you remember what I said. Now that you're awakened, that's all I care about. You feel me? Like, I don't... You know, now that you're awakened, just handle your business, babe. <laughs> that's all I can say. Like, what... You know, but let's see. Give me more clarity, spirit. Let's pull some of these really quick for the collective. Love lost. Yeah, this love is lost, but bound by responsibilities, whether it's children, joint assets, or financial reasons. Hopefully, an exit plan is put into effect. Yeah. Somebody is like leaving that shit behind. Yeah, dark night again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This is this karmic relationship with this love lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, divine timing came out. Behind every twin flame journey, there's a divine plan and a divine time for accomplishing it. Don't focus on when, but how you can learn from it. Yeah, that's what your focus needs to be on. Not when y'all going to be back together or when this is going to happen. Because it's going to slow down this manifestation, I'm telling you. This is going to slow it down. 51, 51, no timer. What else? You just got to focus on your work. Yeah. Mania love. This kind of love leads into madness and obsessiveness. Often wanting a reinforcement of your own value, which can lead to codependency. Yeah. Yeah. This is what they're going through here with this karmic. Or this is you, right? here going through this with your karmic. Because some of y'all are still stuck with your karmics. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't really don't know that part because I i don't know. I ain't staying nowhere where I don't like. <laughs> and I've, I've like for on my end, I've been kind of like people pleasing and shit like that. But I've seen how me not setting boundaries really, really kept me stuck in shit that I don't really want to be in. You feel me? So that's been my issue. But others of y'all, y'all probably do have karmics still around and things like that. You know, that you need to get rid of. They've been around too fucking long, you know, but. Yeah, this is somebody here wanting to be loved or wanting to feel desired by somebody or this is what this karmic is doing to this person because they want to feel loved by them. They want to feel cho chosen or needed or whatever. And it's like, no, honey, it's just time to like exit. These karmics, they just really just, I don't know. A lot of these relationships are built off of trauma bonding, you know, and it's just a mess, a mess. But so we have awakening. Your twin is awakening to your connection and they're ready to put in the work to manifest a reunion in a 3D. Expect some progress. Yeah. Yep. One more card, Spirit, please. A lost case. You've experienced so much pain and you're struggling to see the purpose or point of the relationship. Perhaps it's time to let go and begin to heal. Yeah, that's giving me that karmic energy, but it's also giving me this... Um, this... Um, your twin, you and your twin here, because some of y'all just feel like, you know, that's why I said it could be 50-50. Everybody's on different timelines. You feel like this is a lost case. It's a lost cause, but it's telling you why. It's because you need to let go and begin to heal. It's only a lost cause because you're sitting up here trying to basically get this person to come back to you when they're not ready. And that's not even what the purpose is. <laughs> Once you really understand the purpose, you'll get what you want, you know? You'll get what you want. But until then, you have to just focus on your healing here. And a lot of people don't really understand that. That's why they get like the way that they are. But if this is a karmic that you're connected to, then that shit is a lost cause. It's time for you to like understand that that's not, that's not for you. You know? And some of y'all do, for real, as much as it hurts... 
you do need to accept the fact that this person has free will you can heal and do whatever you want yeah they might take a little longer they might move a little bit slower uh, than you they might take a little bit you know longer to kind of like do the work all right is everybody's on everybody's different they're on different timelines all right and for some of you like i said sometimes it's just not in a lifetime this lifetime it's just not going to be in this lifetime all right and i mean i feel like that's honestly i feel like that's just a tactic for spirit to be like yeah release it let it go so you can do the work i want you to believe that it's not going to be in this lifetime so you can really really do the work all right because your twin is triggering you <laughs> your twin is triggering you they are making you feel abandoned or unwanted or da 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 when it's really something within yourself that you're not really showing yourself any love you're not really putting yourself first you're not really pampering yourself okay because your twin they can make you feel like that they can make you feel like you're not wanted or loved because they're running when really that's not what it is they won't express themselves they won't da, 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 da. it gets annoying it really does it does i'm telling you that's why you have to let go because you're hurting yourself <laughs> you're hurting yourself bottom of the deck it says romance wine and dine getting to know each other and flirt so it could be some communication coming in from this person where they want to wine and dine you and romance you or whatever all right we have runner yeah this person is the runner this runner is they they fucking <laughs> Their ego has been getting in the way. What, what's this? What else? Well, this person has been trying to run away from this relationship and date other people. I feel like you had too. Has it worked? <laughs> Please, just let me know if it's worked. I really want to know. If you're in a real twin flame connection and you've been kind of like, you're on the other end of the spectrum now, right? Where maybe they're the chaser and you're the runner. You're running away. You're trying to date other people because they just get on your fucking nerves. But it's just not working, is it? <laughs> it's not working. You could pretend, honestly... You could pretend like you're happy in another relationship when really you're not. You're still heartbroken over this one and this is what you want, but you didn't get it. That's just heartbreaking. There is no way that you can move on to a new relationship like that and fall in love like that. Especially when your heart is already with your, your person. It's just not, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work. That's basically you running away from yourself. You running away from your healing, which is delaying your healing progress. Your healing uh, journey. <laughs> which is delaying your union you know what i'm saying like all of it's a domino effect yeah so we have <clears throat> now i feel like you're the runner now you could be the runner you're on the other end of the spectrum they're chasing you you're running <laughs> okay like but it says coming forward planning on communicating heart-to-heart -heart conversation <laughs> yeah reconciliation all right take action yeah what else spirit for the twins All right, options, more than one love, decisions need to be made. Yeah, for some of you guys, y'all got options now. You got a lot of people that want to date you, da, da 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 It's like, now you have to make a decision. Now it's time for you to make a decision. I mean, look, I ain't going to push y'all to be with your person. Do what you want to do. <laughs> okay, yeah, competition, eyes on another, multiple options. Yeah, some of y'all do got multiple options. Yeah, this is this third party. You know, for, for a lot of y'all, right, these third parties, I've noticed, they come up in these readings and they try to confuse the collective. They want y'all to be fucking confused. They do. They want y'all to be confused. They want y'all to feel like, yeah. What else? What What else? Oh, this person here knows that they got competition. Yeah, fast movement. Deception, lies, wearing a mask, secrets. So let's see what else before I clarify these really quick. I want to see what these are. Conflict, confused on how to move forward, arguments, disagreements. This is this is this third party energy, bro. What else? Past life connection. It's safe for you to love. Take action, leap of faith, safe. And then, yeah, false twin flame. Yeah, lesson, not a divine connection. Yeah, this is this fucking karmic. <clears throat> this person, let's see. What's this um deception? What's this deception? Lies, wearing a mask. <clears throat> Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this could be what your person is or that's you. What's deception here? Fresh starts, new beginnings, leap of faith and start over. Really? 
please move on let go and trust your angels yeah so there there's an energy of wanting to start over here this is what somebody is lying about wanting to first start yeah wanting to plant a new seed here <laughs> all right this is this person wearing a mask keeping this a secret right now I, i'm just getting to this person is arguing and fighting with this karmic right now because this karmic thinks that y'all are together bitch they are now what they're together <laughs> they sure are together bitch these hoes need to mind their fucking business they don't have nothing to do y'all but to try to figure out what y'all doing and it's funny to me it's really funny that's why i pick on their ass because it's like bitch you look lame and you look depressed bitch sad all that you just look a mess what's conflict what's conflict here <laughs> what's conflict signs synchronicities yeah this is enough sign for somebody these signs these symbols is telling their ass to get the fuck that's what it is what's this conflict and signs yeah it's like somebody's trying to grab somebody and pull them back and they they're trying to walk away because they're tired it's like it's a no what's signs with the conflict card apology i'm sorry yeah now somebody want to apologize and do whatever the fuck this is this could be you in conflict with your person too this person knows that you're going to be mad when they tell you whatever the fuck they have to tell you you're not going to be happy you might be happy when they come back or something like that but you're not going to be happy with probably what they have to say i feel like it's going to cause for a long conversation what's this false twin flame card guidance trust the signs your spirit guides and angels are supporting you yeah as you walk away from this fucking false person yeah what's this false twin flame with this guidance happiness yeah enjoyment kindness yeah when you walk away from this person when you get away yeah retreat you can have these new experiences you can have whatever this is that you're looking for you just have to get away from this bitch first yeah somebody is itching to be happy that's all they want that's all they're yearning for in this false twin they just want to keep being in the mix they feel like they belong here bitch you your time is up you served your purpose <laughs> you served your purpose in somebody's life you are not your, your assignment is done bitch whether you pass it or not i don't i guess i don't know yeah i feel like you did what you needed to do because whoever this is is awakening <laughs> so you did your part bitch good job now move out the way move out the way what's competition because it's okay communication expect a text expect a call confessing yeah very soon yeah yeah so this person yeah they don't want you to get away <laughs> they don't want you to get away so they're going to be calling you contacting you because they know y'all ass got options and you're glowing up just period you're glowing up ain't nothing slowing down for you <laughs> at all like period so either make your move now, you move, you lose, honey. But I just sound so crazy saying that. <laughs> because it's like, you know, I don't know. Some of y'all could not be in love with your twin. I just feel like, I mean, you don't have to be in love. You can love them. But if you know that you're at, the, at that point in your journey where you have to let them go, it's just that's what you have to do. But if you're at that point in your journey where y'all have done a lot of work, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Y'all been apart for a while. You've been working on yourself. They've been working on themselves. And you actually do like you're in love with your person and you're in love with them then it just hits different some of y'all are that different you know parts of your journey because i was at that point too where i just did not give a fuck or i tried to act like i didn't because <laughs> i feel like really it's really do be a facade it'd be a facade it's only frustration you get frustrated because they don't be acting right period they keep running and shit like that's the annoying part and then you got these annoying assholes around so it's like it just makes it worse but eventually you just you just like you chill <laughs> you chill you chill so let's get some of these cards twin flame ascension cards let's get so let's see let's get one here let's see really quick So we have, yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Remember your identity, you can do it. Bottom of the deck is acknowledge. Take responsibility. Yeah, take responsibility for your actions. Somebody is scared that they're going that you're going to battle of head versus heart. Acts, listen, allow. Yeah, there's something about communication is here. Yeah, intense change. Yeah, false twin flame coming up again. So this is somebody here realizing that they have a false twin. <laughs> you know? Increase your frequency, higher conscious awareness. 
Twin Flame Facilitator, expect expansive growth, sacred sexuality, accessing the unified field. Yeah, somebody is pulling back there so they can heal their sacral chakra. They're pulling back that whatever this lustful shit is and somebody, yeah, this, they're done with that shit. That's, it's a no. It's just a big fat no. So let's see. I forgot how to even hold on guys because i don't even know what the fuck like <laughs> what card that is i'm trying to find oh wait a minute oh never mind <laughs> okay remember your identity number 50 i mean page 57 so let's see sorry so let's see um your quest for fulfillment requires an exploration of your inner self the goal is for you to discover who you truly are. The path to divine love is not straight. This zigzag pathway is a repetitive process sending you deeper within to revisit things you thought you understood. Yeah. This pursuit helps you gain an even higher perspective as you remember your identity. This card indicates that you are feeling weary and not sure if you can continue your quest for divine love. Feeling lost can make you feel like giving up, but stay the course. You can do it. Okay, Y'all hear that? Stay the course. You can do it. This is a divine love. Okay, like it's different. It's not going to be like everybody else's. I'm just going to say that. So, yeah, it says looking outside of, of yourself with exhaust, I mean, will exhaust you. But don't quit because you have been searching in the wrong place. True love exists within you, period. The purpose of your intense chaos is to trigger you to gain clarity. Doors may be closing. Chapters are completed, leaving you wondering how you will move forward. But know that you are on your authentic path and it is leading you toward great love. It is important to express gratitude for the lessons that your twin flame is teaching you, which help you discover a deeper love and self-acceptance. Yeah. Yeah. I like these cards. <clears throat> Let's get another one, Spirit. King, Divine Masculine. <laughs> 10 10 reunion reconciling differences i can't i can't make it up it's mission in motion yeah something is coming back it's it's, it's doing what it need to do let's see <laughs> it's getting late y'all i'll be asleep by now it's 8 24 my ass be in the bed honey olive okay divine where is it oh king page 79 let's see when the king appears, it indicates your reverence for higher wisdom that is found within. You are aligning with your truth while balancing your emotions. This step gives you confidence to show up in life, demonstrating both strength and emotional stability because you have learned how to get out of your own way and risk, uh, I mean, rise above karmic limitations. Okay, period, divine masculine. Period. This card suggests that you create space for your divine masculine partnership by taking personal responsibility and ownership of your destiny. Now is the time to fulfill your greatest potential. If you want your divine masculine to show up and speak up for you, then you need to become the supportive partner that you desire. Okay, if that ain't a line, I don't know what is. If you want your divine masculine to show up and speak up for you, then you need to become the supportive partner that you desire. Focus on letting go of any residual need to control situations or outcomes. Practice habits that demonstrate your trust in yourself, your abilities, and the unfolding process of your ascension journey. This empowers the divine masculine and your twin flame dynamic so they can find the courage to take action and support you in the process, helping you both build inner confidence as you go forward. Wow. Let me see. Practice habits that demonstrate your trust in yourself your abilities and the unfolding process of your ascension journey this empowers the divine masculine and your twin flame dynamic so they can find the courage to take action and support you in the process yeah helping you both build inner confidence as you go forward yeah so if you i mean everybody has divine masculine divine feminine in them so the divine masculine side of you need to practice habits that demonstrate your trust in yourself your abilities in the unfolding process of your ascension journey. Yeah, you need to trust in yourself more. Stop saying, oh, I give up. You know, I don't want to do this or I can't do that. Da, 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 da. I mean, I get it, but stand up. Have some strength. All right. <laughs> Have some strength. 
Okay, guys, have some strength. Let's see. Because, I mean, honestly, once you realize this connection really isn't going anywhere, you'll be all right. Because <laughs> I feel like y'all, you know, this connection is really not going anywhere. It's not. It's not. So this is that's what's really going to force you to do the work here. <laughs> because it's just not going to go anywhere. You're always going to be connected to them. This person's going to follow you everywhere you go energetically. I mean, unless you want to be haunted like that, or you, I don't know how people can do that. They move on, they move on to whatever connection or whatever, and then still like, and you're supposed to do that because how else are you going to have different experiences in your journey if you don't move on at some point? But usually that should be temporary as fuck. It ends. It always ends because really, that's not where you're supposed to be. Maybe for a time being, because you had another lesson to learn. <laughs> right like you had another lesson to learn somewhere and you have to meet different people for different experiences if your lesson requires people to be around then that's what it is okay but that shit don't be lasting i'm just gonna say it because it don't <laughs> you get drawn right back to the drawing board back to this person back to the work that you gotta do all right because spirit wants you to stay on course and that's one thing that I've learned. Spirit wants you to stay on course. They don't want you to get distracted. <laughs> Not at all, bro. Especially when it gets down to like close to union. Uh-uh. They're going to throw shit in the way to like stop you from doing certain things. Yeah. So let's see. You turn me on in unexpected ways and at unexpected times. Okay, divine masculine. Let's see. What else? I want to run my hands all over your soft skin and through your hair. Okay, period. I will always forgive the mistakes you make. <laughs> okay, it says, I don't intend to come and go. I'm just overwhelmed when I feel you moving on and scared when things are going too well. Yeah, this person is just so wishy-washy. They, they don't know how to feel, really. They don't. It says, I get insecure when it comes to you. I am nervous and overwhelmed in your presence. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I despise others giving you the attention I know you should. I mean, I know I should. My pride stands in a way. Yeah, they get jealous. They get insecure. They don't like that shit, but they want to act like this. Like, I bet you get it together now, though. You see all this competition around. I bet your ass get it together now. <laughs> I love that you can see my truth, but it scares the shit out of me too. Yeah, it make you get your shit together. You can't approach divine feminine like that. You get in your masculine energy or be gone, period. Yeah, it says you're my other half. I know that you are. You left a piece of you in my heart and I within yours. Mm. Okay, divine masculine. You triggered my spiritual awakening. Mm-hmm. I know we have a connection unlike any other. Sometimes I try to, to deny it, but I can't ignore the signs I receive. Yeah, it's going to follow you forever. <laughs> Just like it's following Divine Feminine. Every song I hear reminds me of you. It doesn't matter where I am or who I'm with. You always come to mind when I hear certain lyrics. <laughs> Twin Flame, you're my secret mystery, fulfilling every fantasy. Hmm. Then we have, please don't give yourself to anyone else. I can feel you and it tear it tears me apart even knowing it's a possibility I could lose you forever. Yeah, they panicking now. They panicking because, honey, you're ascending. You're getting the fuck, okay? That's going to trigger your person to get better too. That's what's triggering their ass because <clears throat> you're moving on in life and moving up. <clears throat> this is what's triggering their awakening to do better. <clears throat> I feel selfish not giving you time energy and attention you crave yeah you should no <laughs> i mean what the fuck come on now so let's pull divine feminines in because it is selfish <clears throat> but let's see Let's see what the Divine Feminine has to say. Then I'm going to close out. Because I ain't pulling nothing else.
So we have, I love the way you live your life. I wonder if you know how truly rare you are. Yeah, I feel like this person really just looks at themselves like regular degular, but because you're their twin, they just, they, I don't know, they intrigue you in different ways, right? They look regular to other people, but to you, they, they look good. They do everything good. I mean, it's just weird. <laughs> it's crazy. It's really crazy, but it says... I hate separation and I always know when you're ready to pull away. Yeah, I'm tired of that shit. I hate when you ignore me. I feel physical pain. I don't always like loving you. It hurts me more than I'd like to admit. I loved you so long now and it's taken over quite a bit. Okay, Divine Feminine, you a poet. <laughs> Some of y'all are poets, okay. But yeah, that's facts. <laughs> that's facts. It's It's very annoying even if i even if i do find someone else i always care for you yeah that shit gets overwhelming bro i ain't gonna lie you find somebody else and it's like i don't know i guess let me know in the comments how you feel about your person i guess everybody feels different you could be at a different stage in your journey right like i don't know everybody's set up different everybody is i feel like with twin flame journeys the contracts that were written okay up in the ethers and many lifetimes ago it all goes back to that contract some of y'all have some maybe contracts where you're not you don't want to be with this person y'all going to end up not being together but just be friends maybe you've signed contracts where somebody just knows this person somebody where, where the contract says that this is the one you're meant to be with okay at a certain lifetime at a certain whatever i, I mean i think it's that complex okay when it comes down to that but i feel like mainly most twins are, they are destined to be one another's counterparts. They are. I feel like, too, a counterpart could talk about, too, when you meet somebody outside of your twin that's like a soulmate, that could be your counterpart. That's just somebody that you align with at that time on your journey. So if you're at a level nine, okay, level nine, whatever, level nine consciousness or whatever the fuck or a level four consciousness or whatever, you're going to meet your partner, your soulmate at a level four consciousness, or I don't know. It's like, they're good for you at that moment. But then when you elevate, it's time for them to skedaddle type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Like you meet people where you align at in your, in your soul, right? You attract what you are basically, you know? So, I mean, when you are in separation with your person, you're going to meet other people and they're going to teach you lessons about what you need to work on. <laughs> that's really what it is like so if you're at a level four and they're at a level what two all right they're gonna teach your ass some shit right because i mean you're elevating and they're at a, at a certain level of, like i said if you're at a level four they're gonna be at a level four and y'all both are gonna learn from each other because that's what soulmates do anyway that that's what soulmates do they teach you and sometimes y'all meant to stay together sometimes y'all ain't you know but i really don't feel like twin flames are designed for y'all to just like move on like that I really don't. I just don't feel like that. I can't see it. I'm sorry. So if y'all feel that way, I don't know. But anywho, you know, it's it's a complex journey, but I will love you for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, it says, even if I do find someone else, I'll always care for you. I will love you for the rest of my life. Like, what? I, I don't know. Like, when I love somebody, I want to be with their ass. <laughs> You feel me? Like, I don't I don't know. It's like, yeah, you can love people from a distance, but do you really want to have to do that? No. You want to be around the people that you love and care about. You feel me? So it's just weird. That shit, I feel like you, I, well, I, listen, I have been there, done that. I don't know where y'all at on y'all's. So anyways, I'm jealous of anyone who gets to talk to you because I don't. <laughs> I hate being so committed to you and I don't even get to see you or talk to you. Yeah, it's like, it's, that shit is annoying. It is annoying. It is annoying, and it's a hard thing to work through. I ain't gonna lie. The longing of this person and all that is just on top of all the work you have to do within yourself. It's a lot. It is. So it says, all my friends and family tell me I'm crazy for still thinking about you and just to move on already. I would if it were that easy. Yeah, a lot of, that's why I just need to shut the hell up. Don't tell your friends or family anything about this connection. Live in your head. Have fun while living in your head about it. Because that's what I do. <laughs> I don't be telling nobody about nothing, bitch. I don't want to hear nobody's opinion. I said what I said. And that's it. 
Period. I don't... It says, did I do something wrong? Yeah, you feel like you did something wrong because this person acts that way, act funny, right? They're the runner, though. You're the chase. You have to remember that. <laughs> so, of course, it's going to be you, you know, asking, did I do something wrong or what did I do? You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything wrong, you know? But it says, I love you and I miss you. I really want to kiss you. Okay, period. I wish we couldn't... I mean, I wish we could just surrender into one another and make love under the stars. You are my universe. <laughs> These quotes is corny, <laughs> but cute. They corny though. Sometimes I question if you're just a karmic lesson, but the universe keeps telling me you're not yet. Y'all even be confused, bro. I've been there. I swear. It's like, well, what are you? Because I guess that's, that's what I mean when I say like you move on to other people. Cause it's like, okay, maybe, you know, this has happened. This and that has happened already. You know, maybe we're not meant to be together. Maybe I am just meant to move on, find somebody else. Then boom, like you open yourself up to a new relationship. And it's like, it's cool or whatever, but it's just not right. Something is just doesn't work. It's like something is off, you know, and they don't even have to be bad people. It's just off. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't, I don't know. You don't want that really. <laughs> but I guess what? You're being forced to kind of like move on, you know? But I feel like, too, that's um a trigger. That's a trigger. That's your codependency being triggered because it's like, why do you want somebody that keeps running, right? <laughs> why do you want somebody that keeps running away, you know? And it's like y'all marrying each other because you're running away from the simple fact that you love this person. But, it, I mean, you can't do anything. You're hurting. That's what it is when you run away like that. You're hurting. And you're just like, okay, well, fuck it. Like, if I can't get in my union, then maybe I do need to move on. Maybe I do need to date other people. You do it, and then it's like, okay, let me be real with myself. That ain't really what I want. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's really how I be. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you can relate. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you can relate, because, Sunny, this journey is, whew. <sighs> it's stressful, child. <laughs> That's all I can say. But anyways, y'all, I hope this reading resonated for you, though. I hope you got some clarity. I mean, I hope it made sense. You know, I can only explain it my way. Like, maybe there's other people on here that can explain it better, you know. But I try to speak about the Twin Flame journey from a positive standpoint. I'm not, I'm not going to bash it. Yeah, we can be real about how crazy it is and how much it hurts you and da 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 but there's reasons for it right you run because you're running away from something within yourself or you chase because you're chasing something that you don't have within yourself it's one or the other right it's something a part of you that's not complete yet you need to feel complete and whole within yourself in order for this person to come back right and meet you where you are they're gonna have to do the work too so it's just it's <clears throat> it's um it's not a game it's definitely not a game. It just feels like one. And I feel like in order to make yourself feel better, look at it as a game. But pass the test. Pass the missions. Pass the... Pass them. Okay? You know, if you can look at it like that and just make fun of the fun of the journey, then it'll be easier. It'll be easier. If you just focus, do your work, you know, meet new people, but really be honest about what you want in your heart and stick to it. If you really want your person... And if you have confidence and you have faith that you just know that that's your person and y'all going to be in union, continue to do your work. Continue to focus on your work, make new friends, do whatever. But just you have to be honest about what you want. All this back and forth is switching back and forth. It's fucking up the manifestation. <laughs> okay, it's fucking it up. Do you want your person or do you not? Make up your mind. One minute you want them, the next minute you don't. Okay, I had to learn that too. But it's all about what you want in your heart. Nobody's saying sit and wait. All right, nobody is saying that, but just do the work. Do the work on yourself. And then you'll start seeing your manifestations come through as far as this union goes, <clears throat> you know. But anywho, y'all know, y'all know what I'm saying. So this was your reading, guys. I hope it made you feel better. <laughs> okay, I hope it made you feel better. I hope it um helped. All right. Um, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Turn your notification bell on. Make sure you guys press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings for when I post for you and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.